off and rolling this morning, day four. I uh, woke up and everything was dry because it was a bit of a breeze all night, which was always good. Into Newcastle today. And as usual, I'm the first one up and out, which is the way I like it. Can you guess which World Heritage Site this road is built on? In old times, for the pleasure of a vain king built a city out of marble and there was onyx in those halls and so with great pride they built up into the spirit sky to see invaders from the ocean try but the sea it came as if to say for beauty it was already there As if to say For beauty it was already there I've reached head and on the wall, six miles in And it's time for second breakfast <sighs> I'm feeling pretty tired this morning. Uh, I never sleep well camping, to be honest, and um, I've been pounding the miles, as you've seen, so um, it's no wonder, is it, really? But um, shorter day today, so I'll be all right. Hello, mate. Do you want some? Coming to get the rest. Come on. Come and get the rest. Come on, I've laid those cr yeah, good lad. Go on, there's three left. Good lad, go on, get the other two. Go on, you can do it, there they are. You can do it. Whoa! <laughs> well, I know some of you like a bit of map time, so here we go. <laughs> can you see this map here? Right. This is where I started here, Bowness on Sands. That's Carlisle, moving across here. That's the bridge over the River Irthing. And then there's uh, Housesteads, Bercovicium, Chester's, that was yesterday. And then I am now here at Hedden on the Wall. And there's Newcastle. That's right in the middle where the Tyne Bridge is. That's Walls End Segedunum, and I'm going all the way to the coast to Arbea Fort in South Shields. So, nearly done. This is another bit of wall here at Heading on the Wall, and um, it's not necessarily directly on the trail. You have to seek it out a little bit in the village. But it's worth doing it because uh, I'm not sure how many bits there are now from here to the end. So, it's good to see a little bit more. It's worth uh, pointing out, if you don't know already, that here at Hedden on the Wall, the Hadrian Wall path um, actually goes away from the original line of the wall, significantly so. It goes steeply down the bank into the River Tyne, and then along the river bank all the way into the quayside in Newcastle, and um, then continues along to the end in in Wall's End, which is quite a different route uh, from the original wall itself, which goes through quite from here, through the western side of Newcastle, through a very urbanised setting with fast roads and traffic and garages, factories, buildings and so on. So I guess that's why they uh, made the route down by the river, because 
it's a very popular trail. Thousands of people walk this each year and they probably didn't want people to be walking in such numbers through that urban environment but I think I'd prefer to go down to the river anyway but um, maybe they'll um, make the original route like an alternative route in future so on we go oh look at the street name well, there's a joke comes to mind there but oh, what is it what is it oh no it's gone Thirteen miles in, closing in on Newcastle Centre, and uh, there's a lot of tarmac pavement walking since uh, I reached the river. But there's usually been a grassy verge on the side that you can uh, walk on, so it's not that bad. Oh, bit of a breeze, clouds, a bit of blue sky poking through, but it's very pleasant walking conditions. And uh, I've got something to show you. Over the other side of the river, you might just be able to make out the Angel of the North. I've reached the famous Tyne Bridges. There are many of them, <laughs> lots of different shapes and sizes. Which means that I've nearly finished for the day uh, because I've booked a hotel room right next to the famous Tyne Bridge itself and uh, I've been looking forward to it actually for quite a long time. <laughs> uh, now some of you that already know the trail might think well it's only five miles to Walls End and Segedunum to the finish of the trail um, and that's right um, but I want to go all the way to the coast and I want to go on the ferry to South Shields across the Tyne and I want to visit um, the final fort, uh, Arbea, which has a reconstruction of one of the gatehouses and um, all that good stuff. And I want to dip my toe in the North Sea and do a proper coast to coast, you know, I mean, why not? So I've got plenty of fun and games for tomorrow. And if I try to do all that today, it would simply be too much. So I'm going to cut the day short at 16 miles. It's not exactly short, is it? But you know what I mean? <laughs> shorter than the last three days and um, enjoy some home comforts because I flipping deserve it. <laughs> there is an English soul you can feel it in the whipping wind the very same that blew the boats to the bays to make this cauldron what it is. And you can feel it in the iron gates, between the bars and the factory hands, where the distant sons of the warrior clans who scarred and named the land. So here I am, I found my hotel. I'm looking at it now. It's a rather grand looking sandstone building, but it's only a Premier Inn. That's gonna seem like luxury compared to my tent though. <laughs> anyway, from a sunny, bustling Newcastle Quayside, that's the end of day four. I'll see you tomorrow. Ah. Uh.